Welcome back to our special pre-election show. Right now, let's turn our attention to Judy Baker. Currently a Missouri State Representative, Judy Baker is the Democratic nominee for Missouri's 9th Congressional District. She has a background in health care administration, runs her own consulting firm, and is an adjunct professor at Columbia College. Welcome, Representative Baker. Thanks for being here today. It's really nice to be here, both of you. Thank yeah. you for having me. Thank you. First, tell our, our viewers a little bit about the 9th. It's a very interesting district. And when you get yes. out of St. Louis City and county proper, these districts like the 9th cover such a wide range of our, our state. So tell us a little bit about the 9th that you're running for. Yes, it's 25 counties uh, in the central and northeast area of Missouri. And uh, it, it is a very diverse district. I mean, this is a district that's going to take a unique candidate to bridge uh, all of the different sensibilities because uh, you know you have your you have your most progressive progressives and you have a very wonderful heartwarming uh, conservative conservatives um, and it's going to take a very special candidate really to bridge all of that uh, I come from a background that I think fits very very well being the wife of a minister and the, the daughter of a military man who is in 20 years um, and uh, also serving uh, from the Boone County area. Uh, I live on farmland with uh, my, my, all my neighbors are farmers. Um, and I think that uh, the mix of qualities that I bring to the district are, are good to bridge all of those sensibilities. I think it's incredibly important that we stop with all the labels and the polarization. I mean, it's a time of, in our country when we've got to pull together. We've got to unite, reach across the aisle, reach across neighborhoods, and, and reach out our hands and say we need to solve our problems together. One of the big issues that's come up in that district over the past several months has been the issue of health care. You have a health care background. Tell us what you'd want to do if you're elected to the seat. Well, I very much spent my entire life really uh, lo raising the quality of health care while lowering the cost and that's what we're going to have to do. You know, it's the cost equation in, in health care more than anything. We could bicker about who's going to pay for it and all of that, but the most important thing is to bring down the cost the cost of health care is making our businesses non-competitive in the global market and it's very difficult for them to compete when they have to pay so much for health care and that's why so so many more are going without if we had you know we we talk a lot about the price of gases gas and it's getting better but honestly if gas had risen at the same rate as health care in the last decade we'd be paying fifteen dollars a gallon for gasoline and let we've we've allowed this to go unchecked uh, so I bring the expertise to raise the quality and lower the cost to ensure that all people in America can have quality preventive health care. One of the fun things about seeing the ninth open is it's so common nowadays for a congressman or woman to win and be there for a long, long time. And the, the benefit of being an incumbent is so strong and so helpful. So this is an open seat. It's been a very, I think, exciting, fresh kind of discussion. But boy, if you could run against an incumbent this year, Congress is very unpopular between the the, the bailout in some ways being perceived and then earmarks and all that. How do you sort of, uh, how do you talk about the current Congress and talk about things like earmarks and the bailout? Well, you know, uh, that's just it. I mean, in, in October of last year, I was, I felt very much like every other American. I was just so disappointed in Congress on both sides of the aisle, frankly. Uh, uh, the inability to, to get along, the, the bickering that was going on, and the inability to move things forward. I think that we need to quit doing that and, and get some things done. Reach across the aisle. I've been very well known for that in the State House in Missouri. Uh, I'll stand up when I disagree with something and I'll fight vigorously. But when I think that we need to do something important, then I will reach across the aisle and, and make sure that we work together to get some things done. Um, and that's, that's what I hope to bring to the 9th District when I, with my candidacy. Um, it's very much, I've run on the things I want to do. I haven't thrown names or called people names or labels. Uh, I've, I've worked very hard to make this about the issues and the things that people care about, the economy, health care, energy. All of those are related. When people lose their jobs, they lose their health care. We have an opportunity and energy to create jobs. Even in the ninth District, we have an opportunity to be the world's leader uh, in renewable and alternative sources of energy. What could we do if we would redirect those oil subsidies and refit some of the plants down in near Franklin County, where my very in my district, where a skilled work a, a skilled auto workforce is ready to go back to work. If we could maybe just refit those uh, companies and make sure that we're producing you know, flex fuel automobiles or the next generation of automobiles. And of course, one of the issues on the ballot this year is Proposition C, the Clean Energy Amendment. Mm -hmm. Tell us about uh, how that would affect the ninth district if, if it was passed. Well, or how you perceive it would. That's be. exactly the direction that we need to go. You know. 
moving towards renewable and alternative sources now i agree with my opponent about drilling and drilling now for making and making for a transition period but we need to make a commitment for a new energy economy a comprehensive energy energy strategy that that works towards some new and renewable energies within my district alone we have the best corn growers in the country you know we have an opportunity with ethanol and other you know cellulosic I mean the ethanol industry can evolve into what it needs to be and I'm supportive of moving forward with that thanks so much for being here thank you representative thank you Ed and I will return in just a moment with more Midwest talking points I joined the National Guard and never thought I'd be saving lives. It's more than money for college. It's built my character and given me a sense of accomplishment. Now I'm on a career path and I'm the leader of my team. I put on the uniform and I have a whole new outlook on life. Country, community, family. That's what matters most to me. If that matters to you, go to 1-800-GO-GUARD.COM. Welcome back. You know, Ed, we sure did cover a lot of ground today with four different interviews, and I'm even more excited for Election Day now. Absolutely, Mindy. It's a bit like a sprint. I'm feeling kind of winded myself, but our guests are clearly aimed at the finish line, and we couldn't have had a more distinct choice in that last comparison when we talk about Joan Barry and Jim Lemke. And I think the same can be said for Judy Baker's ninth congressional race. We do want to point out that we invited Blaine Luke DeMeyer, the Republican in that race, as well. But unfortunately, he couldn't make it. We wish both Blaine and Judy the best of luck on Election Day. That's us, fair and balanced. Not like that gotcha mainstream media, right, Mindy? It's been a lot of fun, Mindy, and the good news is there's more to come. We'll return the week of November 10th with a post-election wrap-up edition of Midwest Talking Points. And if you're missing us in the interim, don't forget to look for us on demand. Go to Channel 1, select I Want More, and then Elections 08. And whatever you do, wherever you live, don't forget to vote on November 4th and make your voice heard. You can check on your voter registration status and find your polling place location before Election Day at www.govotemissouri.com. Thanks for watching this special election edition of Midwest Talking Points. See you after the election. Thank you.